I almost got eliminated very early on to the race. I've talked shit with my buddy Jasmine mid-race. I've seen shoulders hitting each other, almost crashing. And I made my way through some tight gaps to bridge across the breakaway. And then I launched my huge sprint, one and a half lap to go. Was that for the win? Stay tuned until the end of this video. All right, guys, so this is the start of the race. Uh, I gotta say here, this race is, it's like a weeknight event. Um, lots of different abilities from some very strong Cat 1 guys all the way to some beginners on the track. Uh, you see there was a junior right behind me. Um, so this race is an elimination race that turns into a scratch race with the last eight. So this means that every two laps, the last person of the race is out and then until we get to eight people and then we get to race uh, six or seven laps until the finish line. Uh, so here, as I started a, a little bit too much back uh, behind the Pelton, I was surprised uh, how quickly everyone went to the barriers uh, to start the race. So I started at the back, but I decided to slowly make my way up. The last thing I want is spend too much energy here. Uh, I'm looking backwards and I know I'm safe. I, I've seen there was still like two people behind me for that first elimination. Uh, so nothing to stress about, but definitely not a location that I want to be in. As the first elimination went, uh, I all I'm through doing here is save energy. I'm looking for at the wheels. Uh, I'm staying behind bigger guys than me. So in front of me, we have James here, uh, Quebec uh, provincial champ master for crits. Uh, so James is a, a, a huge engine. So if I'm near James, I'm good enough. And on to his right, uh, there's Fred, uh, another stronger master. Um, I decide to look, he's a, he's a big guy. I'm gonna hopefully hold his wheel for a long time. And for El Nation race, the last place you wanna be, to be honest here, is on the black line. Uh, yes, you can be sheltered uh, more, but it, it's prone for you to get out of the race because uh, people go around you. So for me, uh, knowing that I have some sort of a, a good ability at punching, uh, I can always punch the a few little tens of meters, make sure I'm always passing the line not into the last position. So that's why I prefer to stick on the blue line rather than on the black line for uh, elevation race. So we're now a few laps in, a um, few people elevated. Uh, I, I always make sure I look backwards. I see, okay, here's, there's one more guy, there's two more guy. I'm counting behind. And this is the thing with Illumination Race. The race is actually happening at the back, you know, at the front. So, so the guys who's playing the cards uh, at the front to make the race fast, well, they are, they are wasting energy to make sure that they are not into a position uh, to be uh, in danger. While I prefer uh, knowing myself as a more of a punch here, sprinter cyclist i rather do small burst of power here and there to make sure i'm still in the race rather than to push big wattage for a long time so now we're like we're losing riders here and there so um the, the race is definitely very fast uh the guys at the front are pushing it forward and as soon as i see someone a bit slowing down like i i you have to pass it right away here I decide to keep going behind Fred's wheel because I know Fred's, he looks like he's willing to put the power down into the wind, uh, something I'm definitely not willing to do at this point of the race. So um, staying behind him and always on the outside. Always have a, a door to exit. Um, even though I'm, I'm taking maybe a little bit more wind than I could, uh, I wanna be safe and I wanna make it to that top eight so I can contest the scratch race. So now, again, I'm, I'm still hanging out the back. I'm still making sure I'm in good position and it's going to get very interesting here. So it looks like there's two people more behind and I'm playing my cards right. I'm just smooth, I'm aero, I'm sticking the wheels and I'm not making any bursts so far, which is great. This is definitely something I want. And if Fred's moving up in front, I'm moving up with him. That's the strategy I decide to. Um, like, I definitely don't want to be stuck behind someone who's not moving up and uh, someone who's either going to break the field. And this is something that is scary or dangerous with this game is if in front, 
it breaks, I have to be super aware of it and I have to jump with no hesitation. If I take a five second hesitation, we'll, we'll make it too long and the gap will be too dangerous and too long to close. So now we have Jasmine on my left and Jasmine, he's a, he's a good cyclist, but I have to play him right. And as he is sticking on the black line, I'm just making sure that no one's going to my right side and I can always exit. Pace is fast there. I don't know if uh, the video can tell it, but we're going 45 an hour for sure. The guys at the front are banging it. And, but I'm doing good. I wish I had the data here for my heart rate, the power, but I'm doing good. And now it's single filing. That means it's fast. And I have to be aware here that I don't want anything to close here. Fred sort of like opened a gap and I went in it right away onto Jasmine wheel. Again, Jasmine is a big boy, he's thick. Uh, so I, I, I'm making sure I, I utilize his, his, uh, his draft. And now again, like Fred behind, so much in the wind. He's trying to move up, but it's dangerous here. I'm not letting him close me. I accelerate and I'm staying on that uh, green jersey and here like Raph. She's, she's going up to the wheel and I'm not losing any position. I'm fighting for them here. We're fighting for Raph wheel. And I say, oh, like this guy, I can maybe draft him, but no, decide to keep going. Again, blue line here, a bit dangerous. Um, more win for me, but it's not worth it's not worth the risk. And as it slowed down in front, I have speed and momentum, and I decide to just keep going rather than breaking. Let the peloton go. And now being in almost the last position, shoulders to shoulder with Jasmine, I'm in the good position, and he's not. He's stuck on the black line, and. I'm waiting here to accelerate so I can sort of block him so he don't have time to go all around me. That was the strategy here. Pace is fast, single filing at the moment. And yeah, who we see here is fighting, is, uh, fighting the wheels in front, but I'm, I'm making my way up. And now we have all the all the top guys. We're almost into that eight round of, or are we? Maybe into that eight rounds already. Let's look. I think there's one more elimination coming forward. I'm in last position here, I'm taking my time, drafting. And yeah, we have, now we're into the scratch race. So now it's the top eight and there it was seven laps. And this is where it's going to get very interesting. Yeah. Action is uh, now it's a bit slow, slower side here. Uh, Raf almost rub elbows with I think it's I don't know the name of the guy in orange, but that was that was close. Uh, I'm hanging last place because you know, look, I know I'm a sprinter, guys. I I, I got the legs, um, but I'm not going to work in the front. But this is where it gets dangerous because if there was another breaking in front, I have to move up with no questions asked. I have to decide to go and now the pace is ramping up and now this is dangerous. I'm in last position and if one person in front just makes a gap, this race will be pretty much over for me. So I'm lo always looking forward, not just to the person in front of me, but to two, three, four, five person in front. And as soon as I see a little gap, that's where I'm going. This is fast going at least 15 an hour. And at the same moment here, like here, first, first breaking from Raf, I'm going around with the guys and I'm, counting and I'm looking at who's our, who's pulling at this moment, who is at the front making it the, the race fast. So I know later that I will have a bit more power against them. So here, that's where it all breaks apart. Nick Cote is, oh, he's, he's, he's not going. Yeah, I said, Nick, I'm inside, inside. And he let me go. And that's where I close the bridge to the last two. I look behind, I see there was a gap behind me and I don't know what's going on. It's me and P.E. Boivin, the brother of our ex-national champ, um, Guillaume Boivin. So now Pierre is, is looking back. You see that we're only both of us. I'm not willing to work with him because I know he's been working hard. I'm, I've been hanging out. I'm feeling good. We let the two last guys here that uh, bridges to us, but they bridge. So that means that they're cooked and boom. One laugh and a half to go, that's where I, I launch everything. And when I say everything, man, I went so hard and boom, one lap to go. No one jumped on my wheel. No one had the power to, to get to, into my draft. And I just kept going, looking back, the race was on, the race was over pretty much. I knew it, I got it. And I just kept pushing, I gave my all. It was, that was a very great training race. 
and boom, took the W for the first time of the year on uh, on the velodrome for me. So that was great. It's definitely awesome for everyone here to have learned how to ride the track and uh, get used to racing the track. It's awesome. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video and you learned something, please don't forget leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. And my name is Charles, and I will see you guys on the road or to the next video. Peace.